seminar, I think everybody is like sitting at home, you know, maybe you are like having your popcorns, okay? Now, your agents should be with you. And by end of the presentation, if you have any questions, please do not hesitate to actually ask them, all right? So today, the topic I talk about is actually more about EC, and you might have heard about this, the, the, this development called Ola, right? Ola is actually located at Anchor View Crescent, and uh, during the recent launch, the developer managed to sell 30%, okay, despite what is happening now in the market. So why exactly that, you know, Ola, it is the product that actually people like to go for. But nevertheless, today, I'm not only going to talk about Ola, I'm going to talk about in general, what actually happened, all right? So maybe before even I start off, okay, when we buy a property, okay, an EC especially, so a lot of people will ask me, Bobby, you know, after I buy the property, what are the things I can do with? You know, so I have actually helped you to actually identify there's actually four things you can do right after you buy an EC in Singapore. So number one, after you buy the EC, the first thing you could have done, we're talking about approximate maybe about eight years later. So why is it eight years? Three years to build the property, five years for you to hit your MOP. So eight years later, you could do something called decouple. So decouple means maybe the property is bought between the husband and wife. So what you can do, pass the name to the husband, okay, and free the name of the wife. So from there, you can actually go, if affordability is not an issue, you can actually own multiple properties. So this is one of the strategies I actually tell my customer that they can easily take advantage of this. However, the key word is affordability, okay? Number two, the next thing they can do is, after they own a property for eight years, okay, and they can actually choose to lease out this place for passive income. So here's the part. Now, why Ola this location? It is the product that you should be looking at because in that location, okay, there are ample jobs ready for you, right? So I'll touch on that later. Okay, why is it that people would like this place? Okay, mainly for passive income. The third thing you could have done is actually to sell, okay, and actually to upgrade to a bigger unit. Now, this is why I call you will kind of enjoy the first part of gold, leveraging what you could make from the first property and to own another one. Now, this is actually meant for people who are actually not a fan of multiple properties. Now, you may be asking me, you know, why is it that some people they don't like to own multiple properties? Because when you own multiple properties, they are admins, you know, they are actually things to look out for, you have to focus on man rates, you have to make sure things are correct, you may have to manage the rental. There are just some people who just don't buy this. So because of this, this is the third group of people, basically you can sell and upgrade. Of course, the last group of people is to just sell and downgrade. So uh, what do you mean by sell and downgrade? Perhaps uh, you could be at maybe 55 years old, so you bought something, but then eight years later, you could be 63. So you decided you want to sell out okay, the property, get the money and downgrade to a smaller property and use the profit you have to actually go for your retirement. Right? So this is a very important chart. Okay, why? Because by end of the day, when you own an EC, you may want to execute one of the above to help you to actually grow your portfolio. All right. So here's the thing, it's a chart that why are we and why do we need 6.9 million population? Now, this is actually a, it's a old topic. I think a lot of people are talking about it. You know, why do we need 6.9 million? Now, that's because I think Singapore is a country that uh, one of the key resources uh, actually is people. But the thing is about, I think is, you know, like people don't produce that much of, in, I think they don't produce enough. So because of that, you know, sometimes we need to import people. Now, imagine as a country, we need to import people. And with that, jobs are created, the spending are being done, and that's really, really important for the economy. So, this is actually uh, just one of the charts to show you, okay, the number of people aging more than 55, 65 years old versus of the number of people on the workforce. By the time you hit 2030, okay, the ratio is 2 is to 1. Right? This is not really a good number, okay. So, so why? It's that lesser people working where they are more aging people. So um, here's the part. I think uh, some of the slides on the previous consumer seminar, we did talk about we have hitched the junction of aging population, right? So here's the part. So we need more people. And this is the Singapore Population White Paper 2013. And the target, this is in 19, uh, 1950 all the way up to 2030. So the target that we wanted is actually 6.5 to 6.9 million. Now, where we are right now, we are at 5.7. 
So in the next 10 years, the government will have to inject a lot of people to come in to actually support the economy. All right. So these are just some of the articles that you will get to see that income ceiling has increased, you know, then the government introduced more grants and at the same time also or the part where they increase the income ceiling for those people who buy ECs. So now here's a question. Why would government want to increase the income ceiling, uh, ceiling for people to buy EC? Now, uh, because over the time things have changed, okay, inflation took place. Now, when they introduce more grant in the market, basically, in my opinion, okay, they are there to stimulate the resale market. Now, it's really, really important to make sure that the new market and the resale market will run together. So, also, this is one of the chart actually to show HDB cap in the 1990, HDB cap were $5,000, okay, to own a property, but today HDB cap is at a range of 8,000 to 14,000, and for EC, it's 10 to 16,000. So, with this chart also clearly indicate with that, right, property price will have to move together, okay? So, again, this is another chart, okay, to actually show people at the range of 60 to 100% percentile range, okay, their income have increased over the past 10 years, okay, by 51, 14, uh, 54, 51, 50, and 35 percent. So the price, the income range have increased over the years. So that means property price will have to increase together as well. Okay, so this is actually a chart for Sengkang HDB resale flat between five to seven days. Now, as you can see, HDB in Sengkang, okay, it goes up, then after it comes down again, it starts to go up. Okay, so this is a very common trend. Okay, now here's the thing. Okay, I am not saying that HDB it is not the good product for you to buy. So we talk about location, we talk about affordability. When we talk about space, uh, HDB cannot be denied. It's definitely something that we will like to take a look and would like to focus on. But of course, if you're talking about a product that you want to use to buy for investment and home stay, perhaps HDB is a product over time, it goes down together with time. So why is it so, okay? Okay, so basically it has got a lot to do demand and supply and nowadays HDB prices, it wasn't like my mother's time. You know, during my parents' time, my mom bought a property at 30,000 and today we're talking about the property at 340,000, somewhere located at the central area. So things have changed. All right, so when I start to make uh, some comparison, okay, between the HDB, okay, Sengkang HDB, uh, five to seven years versus a non-MOPEC. Non-MOP means it's, uh, it haven't reached the eight years, okay, always say five years. So as you can see, it goes up and come down, but for all the ECs, it just go up with the trend. You realize that EC was tends to go up, okay, especially when it's come closer to MOP. So again, okay, more comparison, EC, condo in Anchor View and Fern View, same thing. As you can see, all of them moving up this trend. We're talking about Bellwater, Treasure Grove, River Close Residences, EC, Asperina versus condo. Okay, this is uh, the blue one is Jewel, Bangkok is Jewel. Okay, that's the one close to the MRT station. And this is the one EC. So as you can see, okay, when this chart move or the private condo move EC tends to ride along the wave as well so because of this I mean we have just too many data actually if you would have done your own research you realize that EC when it comes eight years later is what we call OCR the outside core region so basically the price they move together however EC is not a product that it can be owned by anyone now you need to be of the right income range in order for you to enjoy this subsidized flat. All right. So as again, EC at Bishan versus condo. Okay, the blue, okay, right versus your condo. The green is Bishan loft. As you can see, it moved together. So just another set of evidence to actually to show you EC in terms to come equals to OCI. All right, so uh, more data, okay, to show that it comes together. Now, why is it that EC, they are able to actually appreciate over the time? So maybe I'll give you another example so you have a good idea. So you might know of this thing, it's called the DBSS. Now, DBSS, it is the most expensive, uh, I would say, HDB uh, sold by the government. 
Now, why? Because HDB, okay, we, we can have bare units, okay. Of course, the next group is DBSS. So what is more expensive than DBSS? So the thing is, I don't think there are a lot. So uh, based on the experience on the ground, when we talk around, people who own DBSS normally, number one, they don't really make a lot of money. And actually, some of them actually lost money due to the fact at the initial stage, they threw a lot of money using their CPF. So because of that, over the years, accrued interest were being incurred in returns, in results, I'll say, that actually they lose money when it comes to selling the property. So DBSS is actually there. So, so you see, when DBSS, it is the most expensive uh, HDB, there's no benchmark for them to work anymore. However, when we talk about EC, okay, EC, it is the cheapest private condo that you can ever find because followed by is OCR, right? So because of this, right, okay, you can be rest and assured when you have the opportunity or you're given a chance to buy a unit, okay, uh, a EC, okay, I will tell you the chances for you not to lose money is really high. And based on track records, we have not witnessed any one of the ECs which were bought in the past and they actually lost money. All right. So, an example, EC appreciate much more than BTO. So, this is the example of a BTO, you know, they bought at 422. From there, at the current market, they sold at 605. The profit is $183,000, okay? But a EC, so this is just a data we extracted from Prospector from 99.co. You can see people who actually bought EC like North Oak, okay, Asperina, and also uh, La Casa. These people make a profit if they ever choose to sell today from 600, okay, for half a million to $600,000. And I want to tell you, ladies and gentlemen, and with all these people, when they bought this property, many of them do not have the concept that it's meant for investment. So when they're buying this, they realize, that, hey, I just want to buy for own stay, and nothing more than that. But what they didn't realize that this subsidized property and over the time together to write along with the OCR prices have made them more than half a million dollars, right? So as again, just take a look at some of the transactions right here. Okay, this is actually Lake Life. So Lake Life is the EC. So during that time, okay, when it was actually selling, okay, at the range of maybe um, three bedroom at $871 per square foot. Okay, that was the time it was launched, it was fully sold. And today, today, people are trying to transact at 1001. Now, think about it at today, today's market, to buy a condominium full facility at $1,001 per square foot. You have to agree with me, it's definitely a good deal. And that I have not talked about the gracious, the size that you will be getting. Right? So again, another property so we'll see right here will be Heron Bay. So back then, a three-bedroom averagely was transacted at 735 per square foot. And today, people are trying to transact and trade around 942 per square foot. So another one, we are here, watercolors. Three-bedroom transacted at 791. And today, people are trying to transact about $1,010 per square foot. Okay, so with all these uh, three sets of data to show you, that it's actually very safe for you to actually own an EC if you are the privileged one. And for EC, there's also something that you will get. It's basically what we call the grant for the first timer. Now, this is the best opportunity for you to use free money to actually earn yourself a property, okay? So with that, please uh, check with your salespeople to see if you are eligible to actually to get a grant and also to own an EC for yourself. All right. So, 99 years property make the most. So what does this mean? So I made a comparison for you guys. So this is actually actually a chart, okay, from 2009 to 2019. The HDB in general appreciate 30% over the past 10 years. So when we come here, a freehold property condominium went up 10 years, appreciate about 89%. But here's the part, interestingly, for a 99-year leasehold property went up, appreciate 129%. So the question is, why is it so? Well, why is it that today, okay, a leasehold will actually earn more than a freehold? Now, the word I will use is called loading. So in general, when you own a property, a freehold property, you tend to pay about 20 to 25% more than a leasehold property. 
But nevertheless, we have to take considerations when we buy a leasehold property because it is not that expensive, I would say, especially in the OCR region. The idea of knowing that people is able to buy from you is critical. Then this is the part we talk about upgraders. <coughs> now, in the whole of uh, Sengkang and Bongo, uh, the upgraders place a good percentile of people who actually can buy from you. All right. So basically, of all these general reasons, right, 99 because they are actually cheaper than the freehold, it's easier for people to actually own the property. <coughs> so. Basically, okay, this is the part CCR, RCR, and OCR. So, generally today, the prices, the CCR price is trading within 2008 to 4005, the RCR between 2008 to 2005, and the OCR between 1004 to 1008. So, how much is the EC trading today? Within 1001 to 1002. Now, in OLA, Okay, recently uh, we have just uh, completed the launch. I think the cheapest per square foot they were trading for the big unit is actually about $900 per square foot. Now, averagely, we still have units as about 1,000 or below 1,001. So basically, imagine yourself owning a unit at a price of 1,001 EC and you know that OCR prices is transacting between 1,004 to 1,008. Just imagine the profit you could have made. However, it's not, more, it's not meant for everyone. You have to be the very privileged one. All right. So again, so the question is, where are the buyers and what are they buying? So why is it that OCR properties, or I would say in general, condominiums are in great demand? So this is actually the chart, okay, that we actually got it from Singapore Statistics. So um, this one, the dark blue, we're talking about the HDB four-room flats. Okay. These are the take up from 1990 to 2018. So the light blue ones are all the three rooms. As you can see, lesser and lesser people are taking up the three rooms. So people want a bigger size. Let's take a look at the five room. Okay, this is actually the trend. But the majority of people who oh, there's a high, there's a surge of the demand. Basically, is actually here the condo and apartment. Okay, so with here, we will know that actually people, based on consumer behaviour, people are really looking into condo as an, an apartment. So imagine yourself that you could actually own a unit now in one of the ECs in Singapore, and just eight years later, there will be people ready to look at your unit and buy from you. All right. So as again, property price uh, uh, based on the trends and charts we have seen before, okay, and also uh, data by Morgan Stanley to say that property will double by 2030. Okay, so <clears throat> now here's the thing. So Ola is located at Pongo area. So Pongo Sengkang area, why is this place so interesting? Okay, basically this is the place where there's a lot of jobs. Now jobs equates to rental opportunity. Okay, why? Okay, so there's this thing called Pongo Digital District. Okay. Remember the part I mentioned, uh, the part about if you go own an EC eight years later, you can rent it for passive income, but you need a location to provide a lot of jobs. And Ola, right opposite, is actually the Sengkang Hospital. Okay, so just imagine you are actually located in a place where there is a flood of white collar renting the property from you. Okay, so this is really, really what people are actually looking at. So as a landlord yourself, when you have a peace of mind if you lease to the right people. All right, so again, more jobs will be uh, created closer to Pongo, the Pongo Digital District. Pongo Digital District creates 28,000 tech jobs, okay, in that location, okay, and actually more. So Singapore are also creating more jobs, okay. This is actually the plan. Now, of course, now, uh, despite the, the COVID virus which is actually happening right now, but all this plan will not be abolished. So when it, when it comes back, when the markets recover, I think they will be still be moving along these tracks. All right, so healthcare sector will provide many jobs, which is actually very true, okay? So that's the part, uh, it's really, really important uh, to actually own a property in a place where jobs are provided. And as again, aerospace plan to create another 1,000 new jobs. Again, this is actually very close to actually uh, Pongo and Sengkang as well. All right. So the number of your buyers, the number of units in Sengkang and Pongo estimate. Okay, Sengkang has about 44,900, Pongo about 67,100. And the number of units in Pongo ready to MOP, okay, in time to come is close to 6,369. 
So why do we need this data? Okay, this is extract uh, from SRX. And why this data are actually so important? Because they could be the potential buyer which actually they will actually want to buy from you because they want to do the upgrading. Okay, now here's the thing. Uh, for those people who are actually first timer, okay, they, they own a HDB in Pongo and they want to buy a second property, which is an EC, okay, they have a lot of benefits. Okay, number one, if you are one of them, you can actually enjoy the deferred payment scheme, meaning say there's no need for you to sell a HDB first. Okay, you can actually just put down the 20% and you delay the payment all the way up to TOP. Now, there is no mortgage installment till TOP and if you were own HDB and you want to own an EC, there is no ABSD remission required. Or it's unlike when you buy a private property, if you try to hold two properties, you have to pay the ABSD first. Now, no logistic issue, don't use our HDB and move to alternate house. Okay? And of course, the only thing you need to consider is actually the levy. Okay? So if you own a HDB and you want to upgrade to the EC, you will have to pay the levy. But looking at the fact that your levy could be thirty, forty, fifty thousand dollars, in compared to what we have just showed you, if you would have owned the property at the right time, meaning say the first more advantage, your profit possible could be within three hundred to half a million. So what is that forty thousand means to you? Okay, so that's the only part. And not forgetting, you upgrade your lifestyle, okay, from a HDB into an EC for you, your kids, and your family. All right, so EC prices over the years, for the past 15 years, in 2006 all the way boop, up to 2020. As you can see, the price, the trend, it moved slow and steady. Now, all this has got to do with the reason of the strong movement of the OCR. OCR prices over the years as well, it moves you all the way, go up. Okay, so this is the part. Hey, so if let's say OCR go up and EC is here, would it make sense for me to own an EC right now? So these are the questions a lot of people have been saying, Bobby, I don't own an EC. Okay. But as again, I repeat one more time, it's not for everyone because your income ceiling cannot be more than 16000 So please talk to your salespeople, find out if you do have the opportunity to own an EC. Okay, so here's the thing. If EC prices is here, OCR is here, so we want to know how much are OCR transacting today. Now, based on the previous slide I showed you just now, it is a range of 1,004 to 1,008. But this is actually another statistic to show you that today, OCR have already transacted up to 2,000. Okay, uh, Gazania, uh, Urban Treasure, 1,009. Okay, and uh, we got Singang Grand at 1,007. So, OCR has transacted at a range of 1,617, even up to 2,000. So, think about if you were older, you see, at just a price of 1,001. What are the risks that you will be facing? Think along this line. All right. So, so some people will tell me, Bobby, you know when you buy EC now, wow, 1001, last time, last time, as you showed me, that EC was transacted at about $700 and $900 per square foot. So some people will tell me, Bobby, there's no more opportunity. Now, this is the part where perhaps a lot of people, they do not understand. So the light blue, okay, are actually the available reserve land by the government. Now, the dark blue are land by the government and already released for people to buy. In other words, for developers to buy or for people to build the house. So, can you see there's still a lot of land actually in Singapore is still being held back. So, what does this mean? It means future developments. It means there's still a lot of potentials, uh, I would say opportunity uh, for you if you would own something early today. Now, if you will tell me, okay, Bobby, next time no other developments, what I'm paying is actually on the peak price, then I say that perhaps you should be worried about that. So with this trend, it means that the government still have strong plan to actually build the nation, okay, especially in this location. <coughs> okay, so this is a resale property, uh, a diagram, which I would like you to really, really understand, okay, uh, get this from your salespeople because they can help you to know the pros and cons uh, for you to own different segment of properties. So basically, an uh, EC, okay, normally they're affordable, better for first timer, it helps you to make money. Why? Riding along OCR prices. Now, potential for foreign buyers, okay, because after 10 years later, an uh, EC is considered a full private property. So this is about the foreigners can start to buy from you. It has a swimming pool, okay? So basically, this is the part if you can own an EC. 
But if you own a private property, okay, well, it's slightly different. It could be a little bit more expensive, okay, but of course, the paperwork is pretty straightforward. It has a condo as well, okay, a swimming pool as well. So here's the thing. EC, eight years later, is called private condo. So what does it mean? There will be a high capital appreciation that you could easily write on together with the OCR market. So what if you want to own a research HDB? Okay, normally it's a little bit more expensive. Okay, higher renovation cost, no swimming pool. Okay, from there, you do not have the facility. But of course, from here, you can enjoy the grant as well. So I hope this chart is going to help you to have a clear understanding of the pros and cons for you to own each of these segments. All right, so there are uh, three ECs now in the market. We've got Piermont Grand, uh, we've got Ola, and we have got Canberra. So EC has to stand up for Ola. So basically, okay, why Ola is so interesting? Because Ola, it is the number one branded EC in Singapore. So when we talk about brand EC, we're talking about they invited two major brands, Eva Emerson and Yadro. Cool. These are actually all the Spanish brands, and on the first day of preview himself, okay, he attracted okay, more than 3,002 people to visit the place. Now, up to now, we are about 30% sold. Okay? And if you will visit the show flat, the whole place is actually wrapped up with the concept okay, that not only it provides the house, the home, the size, and also they are what I call soft skills. No. Uh, they have gotten the Real Madrid Federation uh, football team to actually teach your kids on how to play soccer. And at the same time, they got dan la dance lessons, they got bakery sessions, and all the activities which you and your family will be definitely looking at. And there is this also this uh, concept in Ola. I think we will call that the eye doctor. Okay, this is where you can actually see a doctor. Okay, okay, just by looking at a monitor, and there's a booth. So you will tell the doctor what, how you're feeling or maybe you're not feeling well, then they will assess you and they will send the medicine right to your doorstep. Okay, so these are the things that what Olas can provide. And if you take a look at actually, the showroom is very different from traditional showroom that you have seen. Okay, so basically they have three beautiful uh, show flat you should view, the four bedroom and two three bedroom. So uh, based on feedback, those people who visited the show flat will tell me beautiful developments next tell me the price <laughs> all right so i really like to invite each and every one of you to come and join us just tell them that you have an invitation by Prognex, and from there we will show you the place okay just some of the more photos okay to show you of the, the look and feel of the show gallery and all the unit in ola they are all north south facing in another word we don't have afternoon sun all right, and there are just more than how many? 34, 38, up to 40 facilities that you could enjoy, okay? Okay, so this is actually the Ola Grand Lobby, okay? So when you walk in, it is the prestige, okay? And this design, it is exclusively a design by Yadro, okay? So when you go to the show flat, we will show you, okay, how exactly this thing in the model will blow your mind away. Right, so okay, her more of the facilities. Okay, that's the gym, the swimming pool, the dining area, the common area. Okay, you have to take a look at this. Uh, it's located at the four bedroom. The team is called Alice in Wonderland. So when you walk in, your children will love it. Right. So uh, just some of the activities that we had. You know, the dancing was there. So I was with there. So they are there to actually introduce. And for some of you, you might have been watching television programs, and you are chanting by. You know, the Ola have this done. Now, uh, one thing for sure, developer is actually very committed to make sure the Ola, okay, this brand, okay, they want to reach out to as many people as possible, which is a very good thing for you to own. Now, why would I say so? Now, imagine, now you own something, eight years later, where everybody talks about it, when you want to sell, okay, it's going to be a product that most of the people will know about it. So it's really, really important, if possible, to own something where people talk about, rather than you need people to keep talking about it. All right, so with that, I hope you have a great understanding of what EC is all about, and now you might understand why Ola it is the product that people are actually looking forward to actually own one. So with that, my name is Bobby, okay, from Prognex, and I'll see you guys at Ola. Thank you. Bye-bye.